Though, Matt, how do dart players get paid? Seems to be a common question I'm getting asked at the moment. There's a lot of new darts fans out there. Hello to you guys. Please make sure you are subscribed to the TV. I cover everything you want to know right here. And actually, for me, I was thinking about that question and I thought, it seems quite obvious. But then actually when I thought about it a little bit deeper, it's not that obvious actually and actually a lot of people will see it from perspective if you go to your local open if you're playing down your local or your christmas open then you expect to receive the prize at the end of the event the pdc paying out fifteen thousand pound for a pro tour is someone sat with 15 grand cash here you go mate well done michael enjoy walking back to your hotel pal so yeah i get it i, I get that it's a bit bit tricky and actually when i thought about it a little bit more and dug into it a bit more there is no straight answer I can't give you a definitive answer, but what I can do is I can give you the answers for the three sort of big organisations out there at the moment. The Moda Super Series, first of all, we'll look at that. An event that sort of streamed at the moment, did have a broadcast deal, will likely go back to broadcast in the very near future. What they do? Invoice. So you get a contract with them. That contract will state, like, if you reach this far, you'll get this much money. If you reach this far, you'll get this much money. Now, that contract you'll sort of go on to work out how much you've got and you'll invoice for that with the week that you was on. So th that's quite nice and easy. You send the invoice, they send the payment. It's pretty quick and you've got that paper trail as well. So nice and simple. The one I prefer the least is actually this one. I, I know you probably can't see because the light's glaring back. You just see like I'm holding something. It it's an envelope. WDF. A lot of the WDF events are envelope based or should i say home nations because it's not the wdf it's the, it's the nations i'll read it to you slovak open men's ninth position which is last 16 and then the amount of money that was placed in the envelope now this is tricky because a lot of the time what happens is they'll pay you in the currency that you're in so for example if i go to denmark i'll probably be play, paid in danish krona I think that's what it is. Is that how you say it, Danish Krona? Which means then I've got my earnings, which is in a cash form. So first of all, I've got to make sure my books are kept really well because I'm not going to be able to, in six months' time, look back and go, what did I earn from that event because I need to do my profit and loss or at the end of the month. So I need to make sure I'm tracking this as it goes. So it's a little bit more work on the admin side of things, which I'm never a fan of, I'm not going to lie. Now, not only that, when I'm paid in that cash, if I want to, or if that's the only time I'm going to that country, let's say that's the only time I'm going to go to Denmark, I don't need any Danish Corona. Is it Corona? That sounds like a beer. Um, so what's going to happen is I'm going to come back to the UK and then I'm going to convert it back to pounds. So I'm going to lose some more of that on the exchange rate. So what I end up with is what I need to be declaring on that sheet. So it, it gets quite hard to track and it gets a little bit higgledy-piggledy where at least when they pay you in pounds, even if it's paid in a different currency, when it goes through the bank, you know what you're getting at the end of it. So it can get a little bit tricky for the paperwork side of things. So not a fan of that one for that reason. Now, when we look at the PDC... No doubt they are the absolute pinnacle of everything in regards to that. Here is a copy of what they do. What they do is they send you a remittance notice. So you don't need to invoice and say, I reached the second round of the World Championships. There you go. Matt, you reached the second round of the World Championships. Here's your remittance notice. This is what we're going to pay you minus your deductions. Now, just for the record, those deductions, they are membership and DRA. You pay those once a year. The, the levy, that's the PDPA levy, that comes off your... Money, everything you earn on the PDC, that is the Professional Darts Players Association, 2% goes to that. And then the invoices, that was just because when this was done, this was COVID, so they're COVID tests to allow me into the bubble environment. Now, this, for me, is the best way of doing it because, one, I don't have to send an invoice first, so I'm not doing paperwork. I hate doing paperwork, I'm not going to lie. It's the worst thing for me about being a professional dart player because we are self-employed, we have to deal with all our bookkeeping. So not a big fan of that. So big fan of the fact I don't have to first send the invoice in order to get that sort of income. I can keep the remittance notice, so then I can just put that in my in my books and it explains everything there for me. The payment goes into the bank, so I know exactly what I've got and I know exactly what date that goes in as well. So again, I can tick that off for the bookkeeping and things. So in fact of that sort of question, Matt, how do dart players get paid? <laughs> Take your pick. 
because it depends where you play your darts in regards to which system you're going to have to use. But personally, no surprise, PDC run the way. They are at the pinnacle of doing so. Now, if you do want to know a little bit more on that as well, 14 days is roughly how long it takes for the PDC to make the payments, and that is 14 days at the conclusion of the event. So if you won the second round at the first day of the World Championship, because you went up to the champion, you've then got to wait to the conclusion of the World Championship, which is two and a half weeks, and then you've got to wait another two weeks. So you've got to wait about five weeks or so to get that payment for the World Championship. The good thing is you know it's coming. But yeah, it, it can, on some of them, just feel like it takes ages to, to come through. But PDC, absolutely pinnacle of the system, or what I would prefer. Obviously, it's very subjective. Let me know which one would you prefer down in the comment section below and I will be banging out lots of insightful content over the next couple of weeks so if you are enjoying these make sure you hit that subscribe button catch us in with some more of your TV